So to use PowerShell, first need to set up our storage context. So the context contains the username and also the password, which is the storage key. So we'll just pass that to a commandlet called new Azure storage context. Then we can now create our share and we pass in the storage credentials that we created in the previous step. So I also want to point out is when you're creating this in PowerShell, you should always keep the share name in lower case, otherwise it won't work. So now we've created it, let's try and connect to it using PowerShell. So again, we're taking the credentials. This time we're passing them to a variable and converting them to a secure string. So next we create a new credential using NR storage account and we pass that to variable dollar credential. Then we use a command like called new PS drive. So this is basically creating a mapping our share to drive P. Again, you'll see the same UNC in the log share, and then we're passing in the credentials. And there you see it, we're now connected to drive P. So let's just have a quick look at that. And if we have a look in the Azure console itself, and there you see, we've got the logs share there. So to disconnect that drive, we can use the commandlet remove ps drive. 